All right, I just wanted to show you guys really quick how this dried. I think it's awesome. When this is varnished, it is going to be really cool. That lacing looks really pretty. The flash from the metallics is just lovely. I'm so happy with this piece. All right, I wanted to just show you that real quick because people were asking how it dried. Thank you for sending the good mojo. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. I'm having so much fun with this air swipe technique. I want to do another one. Um, I loved the colors in the galaxy pour that I did. Uh, the This blue, which is the golden acrylic phthalo blue. Uh, is mixed with silver against that black it looked amazing my favorite color to go with the golden phthalo blue is the golden phthalo green I have also mixed with silver and then I have artist loft silver these are all mixed one part paint to two parts flow trawl uh, these are mixed to a thin consistency. Um, so one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and then I thin with a mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. That is just what I thin it with. And the consistency that I am using when you drizzle your paint off of the stick and it lands in the cup, it does not form a mound. For my background, I have Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black, mixed the same way with the Floetrol and the Floetrol water mix. Same consistency, very thin. Let's put down a base coat. Remembering to reserve some paint for the swiping. I'm gonna put my silver down first. Okay. This is the going to be the swiping paint.
I see lumps. I don't like that. If you do not get the lumps out as you're tilting, it will distort your cells and your composition. There is no silicone in this paint. This is all just from the different densities. Uh, really, it's the Rayleigh Taylor effect. To blow or not to blow, that is the question. I'm going to leave this like it is. This looks like a piece of black opal. This <laughs> wasn't my intention. This isn't what I was going for. But when I saw it developing, I said I had to kind of go with this. So let me bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. These colors, this blue and this green are so pretty mixed with the silver by themselves. I do find that if I'm going to be using, uh, you know, this technique or a transparent when I'm using black, adding some silver to it does have a tendency to make it more opaque and make it more visible. It lightens it up a little bit too. I didn't do much to this painting. I just saw that center pop up like that and it looks like a black opal. I may have to play around with those colors a little bit and make it more opaly. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I sure did. I am having so much fun with this technique. I hope you guys are too. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar, if you feel so inclined. Uh, my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can purchase my art and my music. Also, our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Check us out there. Post your masterpieces. Uh, ask questions if you have any. Find some inspiration and uh, also the Amazon link below where you can find all kinds of good stuff used for painting, but specifically the airbrush that I use. A lot of people ask questions about that. So that link is there too. And anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, not just from my store, the entire site, I make a small commission of 
at no additional cost to you. So uh, help a sister out if you're shopping on Amazon anyway. And I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, you guys. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.